Hello everybody, my name is Kobe Hill and this is the second video in my MuseScore 2 basic tutorial series. So today we're going to be going over double stops, dynamics, and tremolos. I'm also going to be showing you how to write out 16th notes if you weren't aware. And I'm going to be uh, showing you some of the things in this advanced palette. So we have a lot to cover today. I'm going to be talking a bit faster than normal, but I'll, I'll have uh, some the important, the really important stuff up on the screen as text so um you'll be able to read along if you can't follow me and obviously if i'm going too fast then you can just back up the video and watch it again so let's get directly into this okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to shift click this entire bar um and then cut it and paste it over here so that i can rewrite it so to start out with writing these double stops i'm just going to turn this measure into quarter notes and then I'm going to put down the bottom note of the double stops. So that would be E, E, D, D. Okay, uh, now that we have that, I can add the double stops. So all that we have to do to add double stops, it's very, very simple. We just have to go back into notation mode and then drop the note directly on top of the already existing note. Okay. And then that is done. We have our double stops written out. Now we're on to the marimba part. So I'm going to start out with writing the bass line. If you don't know how to read bass clef, um, the lines are good boys do fine always, or G, B, D, F, A. And the spaces are A, C, E, G, or ants can't eat grass. So uh, we're just going to put an E to a B. Oh, not up to a D, up to a C there and we're going to use six to turn that C into a half note. Now for the sixteenth notes what we're going to do is we're going to turn this bar into uh, quarter notes and then on the first quarter note we're going to hit three, come over to this eighth note and hit three again. Now if you weren't aware, uh, two sixteenth notes equals one eighth note, two eighth notes equals one uh, quarter note, Two quarter notes equals one half note, and two half notes equals one whole note. That goes for any time signature that doesn't change based on the time signature. Now we're going to just write out this measure. It's just up the scale, and then we're landing. Oh, now we have a bit of a problem. We've written out a 16th note. Now, to fix this, all we have to do is press 5 while hovering over that to go back to our quarter note. Or, what we can do is... Um, Let's turn this into 16th notes again. We can uh, write out our, se our second little run here. And before we place this note, we can just press 5. And I prefer doing that. It's a bit quicker. It's definitely a lot more efficient to use because then you don't have to go in and re-click things. But obviously, if you do make a mistake and forget to do that, you can just go in and click it and turn it into whatever note value you want. Okay, so now I want to go over dynamics and I want to go over... Um, some other things that you can use to separate your music. So, if we listen to this now, um, it it, it kind of sounds like everything's smushed in there. And really quickly to separate these two, just to make it a bit easier, come over here to the bar lines, um, grab this double bar line, and just separate that with a double bar line. It doesn't do anything musically. It just shows you that this is what you're working on, and this is what you want to create. Um, whenever I'm copying things, I, I really like to use double bar lines. It's They're very, very quick, very good to use, and it separates everything and keeps you organized. So now on to dynamics. Like I said, everything kind of feels smushed in there. So what we're going to do is come over to this palette and click on dynamics. Now we have from pianissimo to fortissimo, um, and we also have forte piano and sforzando. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since this vibraphone is um, supposed to be underneath everything else. It's not the moving line. I'm going to just drag a mezzo forte there. Okay. And xylophone is a moving line, so we want it to stick out. We're going to put forte there. Marimba is also moving. We're going to give that forte as well. And timpani is not moving, so we're going to give that mezzo piano so that it, it, it blends in a bit well. Without it, it, with it at mezzo forte, it sounds like it's too brash and it sounds like it's it kind of covers everything on the attack so we don't want that okay so now we're going to go over the tremolo part of this episode now if you come over here to your palettes and open up the tremolo 
as long as you have your notes selected you can just double click on the tremolo and it will auto add and this is for literally anything in this palette if you say want to add a grace note here come in grace notes double click you now have a grace note as long as you have whatever note you want something to be added to selected and you double click you will never fail to add it it's very very good so now we listen to what we have we have a nice uh, moving moving line here with a good pad underneath it to to hold it up without that it it feel kind of there'd be something missing so we have that nice pad to hold us out okay thank you guys a lot for watching i hope that i hope that this helped you i'll see you in the next video goodbye